guys, what's up? It's Mac, and today I'm coming at you with some more stories from Staples, where I work. So as you can see, the color of my shirt has changed since the last time I went from a tech sales associate to a full-time print and copy center associate, which is harder. It doesn't sound harder, but it's harder. It's a lot of work, okay? Anyways, I had a couple of quick stories from Staples that I have experienced of people kind of knowing I'm trans. So the first one is pretty wow. So it was pretty close to closing time. There was only a few employees there. The store was pretty dead. And this gay couple walks in and I help them kind of find a phone case. And we go up to the counter and one of the guys says, so you're transitioning? Yeah, yeah. And he goes on to say, yeah, you know, I could tell because, you know, your name tag says Mac and you look very male, but, you know, the voice gave it away. And I'm like, okay, yeah. And he goes on to talk and talk. So that's so cool. Like, so do you want to start testosterone? How does testosterone work? Do you want to get top surgery? I can see you're wearing a binder. So let's talk about bottom surgery in great detail. And he goes on and on to talk about all these surgeries. And it's pretty crazy. And he was there for like probably 15 or 20 minutes with his partner. He came out, they came out as gay to me. So that's how I know that they were gay. Um, but they went on and on just talking about this. It was really crazy. Another time I was at my old school getting a parking pass for uh, like an alumni parking pass. So I had to go to the security office and there was this guy working there and I had to get the pass under my birth name and everything. I looked very male. I was dressed up because I was about to go to an interview. And I told him I worked at Staples and we were kind of talking. He was kind of a cool guy, you know, we were just talking and, and I left. And then I was working at Staples that night and lo and behold, this kid walks in wanting to buy some CDs or something. And so he walks up to the counter and I'm like, oh man, oh man, yikes, ah, yikes.net. Because this is my name tag. That's not my birth name. He knows my birth name. So he walks up and sees my name tag and it's kind of like, taken aback and he's like oh my gosh I am so so sorry like I I didn't know what what pronouns do you go by and I'm just like um because there are people standing around and I am just like I don't know what to say and he's like okay cool cool well like I'm just that's a really big thing for me I really and big on pronouns and like I'm really really sorry about earlier when I was calling you your birth name and girl she her her pronouns so it was really cool but really awkward and then he was leaving and he said see you later Mac so that was kind of cool here's a story that really got on my nerves right so the whole staff knows my birth name because that's what's listed on the schedule. They all call me Mac, but they know my birth name because that's what's on the schedule. So there's this one girl there. We're going to call her Sally. And Sally really likes to push my buttons. Like she likes to push everybody's buttons just trying to make them mad and she thinks it's funny. And so one day she just started calling me my birth name. And she's like, hey birth name, how you doing? Birth name, can you go get me that ink? Birth name this, birth name that. And I was like getting really pissed. And she's like, birth name, what makes you angry? And I'm just like, I don't get angry that often. And she's like, well, I'm going to make you angry. I'm going to push your buttons. Birth name, birth name, birth name. And I was like, please, I go by Mac. Like, if you could not use my birth name, that'd be great. I just really don't like it. It's kind of ugly. And she kept on doing it and doing it. And it was pissing me off. And then my boss came up to her and he's like, you know, Mac chooses to go by Mac. Mac is an adult and Mac can decide what she wants to go by so stop calling her her birth name they still use female pronouns for me because they don't know that I'm trans but they know that I go by Mac so it's kind of cool that my boss decided to stand up for me so this last story I'm gonna tell you today was kind of scary okay so I've been kind of scared the whole time at Staples that one of my friends who only knows me by my birth name would walk in and see my name tag and they would be like, why are you wearing that name tag? That's not your name. 
but no one has come in in like the past two months. So I've been, you know, like, hey, hey, I go by Mac. Everyone knows me by Mac here because nobody has known me before in the past. So one day, about a week ago, my friend decided to come in to get a mouse pad. And I love this friend. She's really cool. But she decided to like walk over to me and catch me by surprise. I was on the computer. She's like, hey, birth name. And I'm like, ah. So I quickly am like covering my name and I'm like, oh, hey, girl, how you doing? Like, yeah, wow. Don't you just love it here at Staples? And then I casually like rip off my name tag. It's a magnet. And I'm like, yeah, wow. And I'm just like, holding this in my hand and I'm like yeah it's so good to see you wow yeah Staples is a good time you got that mouse pad girl you are gonna do so much clicking on that mouse pad oh yeah so that was really awkward because I think she did see my name tag and we have never discussed it I've seen her a couple times since then and she hasn't said anything maybe she didn't see it but I'm pretty sure she saw it so yeah those are just some quick stories from Staples that have been kind of cool, you know, being a closeted transgender guy at work. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below. Share this video on my channel with your friends, because that'd be cool. And if you haven't followed me on my social medias, check out those links in the description. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, what's up? It's Mac. And today I'm going to be talking about the very moment I started questioning my gender.